Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you guys all had a great weekend. I know I did. I got so much stuff done this weekend. So many great things happened. I really honestly, seriously hope that you guys had good weekends too. I know it gets hard to start another work week, uh, especially after a tough weekend, but uh, I had, and me and my family had such a great weekend. We had church and I got a lot of stuff done and I got a couple of emails that just changed my world. I mean, to know that you guys think of me as somebody as like a leader in this aspect and and and, and I'm helping you with your uh, with your recovery and with your walk with Jesus it means it means a lot to me but I want to remain humble and I want to um, have that humility to be just be thankful and grateful and accept accept the um, accept the, the the nice encouragement words of inspiration I want to accept that stuff and just be thankful. So I don't want to keep on going on and on and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. But gosh, you guys have really have no idea what those emails uh, meant to me. And we got a nice little donation this weekend too. So we're thinking about maybe getting a, uh, a, a ministry uh, computer that we can use and, and, and we can use it to ship. So we don't have to go to USPS, who just literally drove by now. Because shipping is, I mean, just to ship something just across the country is like, 20 some bucks that's ridiculous so um so we're hoping to maybe get our own little uh label printing machine and have like our own little yeah whatever it's gonna help get bibles out sooner so that donation that we received this weekend and you know who you are um thank you so much that's gonna go a long ways in helping our ministry get off the ground whoop 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 so what is it is it today is it august 30th is it really seriously august 30th are we coming to the end of summer the beginning of fall one of my favorite times of year fall it is august 30th here's the thought for today practical experience shows that nothing will so much ensure immunity from drinking as extensive work with other alcoholics and christians carry the message to other alcoholics and christians you can help when no one else can you can secure their confidence when others fail life will take on a whole new meaning for you amen to watch people recover and then to see them help others in turn to watch loneliness vanish to see a fellowship grow amongst you to have a host of friends this is an experience you must not miss you guys am i always ready and willing to help other alcoholics in the body of christ meditation for today one secret of an abundant living is the art of giving the paradox of life is that the more you give, the more you have. If you lose your life in the service of others, you will save it. You can give abundantly and so live abundantly. You are rich in one respect. You have a spirit that is inexhaustible. Let no mean or selfish thought keep you from sharing the spirit of love, of help, of understanding, of sympathy. Give and keep giving. Give your personal ease and comfort, your time, your money, and most of all, yourself and you will be living abundantly and amen I, I i preach it too you we may have all these things but we'd have nothing if we don't give it away and let other people experience the joy and, and encouragement and inspiration that we find and i find it living in recovery through jesus christ so i know a lot of you guys aren't in recovery but listen we kind of are in recovery we're in cover we're in recovery from our sin and everybody sins, right? So if you're living in recovery and you're asking God every day when you wake up, what can I do for you today? He's going to tell you to live. Live abundantly. What does it say? Give your personal ease and comfort, your time, your money, and most of all yourself, and you will be living abundantly. So amen. God preaches that word so well. Gosh. Prayer for today. I pray that I may live to give. I pray that I may learn this secret of an abundant living. Amen. That's what this channel is about, giving to others and trying to give some inspiration to other people and telling them there is hope. Don't let anybody else tell you there isn't. They're being selfish. It's not just about them. It's about everybody. We're in this together. We're in this together. We're a team. We're a body of Christ. We're unified. We're unified. Just for today, you guys, August 30. Here's the just for today. I got a lot of requests to read from this one as well, so I'm just going to keep going. All right, August 30th, doing good, feeling good. Hey, that's a good topic for today. We examine our actions, reactions, and motives. We often find that we've been doing better than we've been feeling. The way we treat others often reveals our own state of being. Amen. When we are at peace, we're most likely to treat others with respect and compassion. However, when we're feeling off-centered, 
We're likely to respond to others with intolerance and patience and impatience. When we take regular inventory, we probably notice a pattern. We treat others badly when we feel bad about ourselves. What, we, what might not be revealed in an inventory, however, is the other side of the coin. When we treat others well, we feel good about ourselves. When we add this positive truth to the negative facts we find about ourselves in our inventory, we begin to behave differently. When we feel badly, we can pause to pray for guidance and strength. Amen, amen, amen. Do not... Let's read that again. When we feel badly, we can pause to pray for guidance and strength, and He will provide that. Our Lord and Savior will provide that, or your higher power. Then, when we make a decision to treat those around us with kindness, gentleness, and the same concern we'd like, we'd like to be shown, a decision to be kind may nurture and sustain the happiness and peace of mind we all wish for. And the joy we inspire may lift the spirits of those around us, in turn fostering our own spiritual well-being. So if you're treating other people with kindness, respect, compassion, love, honor, dignity, loyalty, um, you're, you're, you're exhibiting that, so you're treating yourself that with those uh, attributes. And that's important, you guys. It all starts with us. We can't be living and trying to help other people if you're not helping ourselves. So if we're not being nice, loving, compassionate, kind to ourselves, then how do we expect to share that with others, right? So it all begins with us. And I'm not saying you're not going to have bad days. I have bad days, and you guys see those bad days sometimes when I post videos. I'm just, you know, but most, most of the time when I wake up in the morning, I know that I need to be kind and gentle and, and compassionate to people because that's when I'm being with myself. I'm not too hard on myself because that's the way I was when I was drunk. That's the way I was when I was abusing alcohol and drugs. I was hard on myself. Never thought I could win. I never thought I could win. I thought I was always going to be a failure. But once I surrendered and gave that life up and, and laid it at the feet of Jesus, I found, I found peace. I found serenity. I find all those things that we talk about in recovery. I found them, you guys. And I just want you guys to find them and have them too. And a lot of you guys do. And you share them with me. And I'm just so inspired by that. It just... This whole life has just been great. And I tell you what, when I we were in church yesterday, it felt like the sermon was just directed right at me and my family. It was just so awesome. So here's just for today. Here's the thought just for today. I will remember that if I change my actions, my thoughts will follow and vice versa. If you change your thoughts, your actions will follow. Start living for Christ and you'll see a huge difference in your, in, in, in your behavior and in your thoughts and how you treat yourself. How you treat yourself is important. Don't be mean to yourself. You ain't got nothing to be mean to yourself about. We all have wins. We all have losses. What's the point of beating yourself up about something? It happens. I do the same thing, but we have to get, we have to go through that little bit of a time, that little bit of a lull of woe is me, woe is me. But then you remember, woe is not me. I have a, I have an awesome, I have an awesome responsibility and opportunity to have a relationship with our Lord and Savior. And people, some people don't know what Lord and Savior means, but I'm telling you, He is our Lord and He is our Savior. He's helping me every single day be like this. So I'm able to share my joy and love and compassion. A couple years ago, I, I wasn't like this every day, so there's no way I could have had a YouTube channel and be successful in helping other people. There's no way I could have been doing that. But once I laid it at God's feet and surrendered and realized that I am just, I'm, I'm literally nobody without Jesus Christ. And I hope they never lose that spark. I really hope they never lose that spark. So, let's pray. God in heaven, I know I'm a sinner and I need your help. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is your son, that he died on the cross for my sins and God raised him from the dead. Jesus, right now I open my heart and invite you to come in. Make yourself real to me. Take control of my life and keep me from evil and make me the person that you want me to be. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. So we're going on 10 minutes here on the video. I don't want to I don't want to drag it out too long, but I, I want to tell you guys uh, too to pray. To remember to pray we got a lot going on in the country and a lot of a lot of people upset about a lot of things but that never mind the noise we need to pray about the people that we um, have been requested to pray about and my buddy Ted Hinshaw his uh, one of his um, uh, one of his ex-partners is, is going through a hard time and although they're not together anymore he still cares about this person deeply and he still wants the best for people he still wants the best for this person so pray for Ted Hinshaw's uh, friend, she is going through a hard time, and that person needs prayers. She needs, she needs prayers. And that's what we need to do. That's our responsibility. We don't need to know the story. We don't need to know the ins and outs of what's going on. We just need to know that some people out there need prayer. Everybody needs prayer, right? But there's a specific person if you guys want to pray about. So I hope you guys like the the 24 hours a day reading and the just for today reading. That's that's the reading for today. Um, again. 
I'm going to preach it again. If you guys know anybody that needs a Bible, if you know anybody that needs uh, to speak to me, or, or if you know anybody that's really struggling and they're living under a bridge and they need somebody to, to talk to them and tell them that there's hope, I'm willing to be that person, okay? So I don't know if we're going to get like a ministry phone and then I'll give that number out and you guys can call it or text it or do whatever, but this, this ministry thing is really, really something important and it's... I don't know you guys it's new to me too so we're just trying to do what we can but we're doing it all for God we're doing it all in God's name and for Jesus Christ because we wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for them so I, I tell you guys we're beyond grateful for everything that you guys send the emails and the donation that we got this weekend it's just unbelievable so we are very 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 grateful so love you guys have a good day we will see you guys tomorrow or later tonight okay love you guys have a good day have a good day. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be, f be inspiring. Be all those things, but be them to yourself too, okay? Love you guys.